Hey everybody, welcome to Callaway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett. I'm here at our shoot in Las Vegas. And there was one guy we had on our show this year that probably got, I got the most emails of get that guy back on the show. And that was Freddie Yock. So made a call to Freddie. Freddie tried to work it into schedule. Here he is. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. It's really yeah. good to see you. And um, we were just talking a little bit off camera. 2013 was, was started off as a great year for you and then kind of ran into some health things. So here we are trying to get back healthy again for 2014. And what does a guy like you do to get back in shape? Well, I've been working out a lot when I've been back home uh, the last couple of months. I've actually done some uh, P90X. Oh, have uh, you really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. With, with the neighbors in the neighborhood. So <laughs> that's been our daily thing at 6.30 in the morning. It's, yeah. it's been great because it's, I, I really like to do a variation of stuff where I get some strength work, some cardio, some stretching, some you know, yoga stuff. Uh, you know, you, you get good sweat. So a program like that gives me a lot of different things. Well, it's a little bit so. dangerous probably to do that because I'm sure your wife's now wanting you to go around the house without your shirt on now. <laughs> so, you know, you got to, you know, have to factor that in when you're getting off it for the... <laughs> I need a little more time in there <laughs> yeah. before I Maybe. need to worry about that. Right. I would need to do P900X <laughs> yeah. for that to happen. Yeah. So you really, so you're just doing some of the same stuff that we would do, just to, a lot more flexibility, I'm guessing, a lot more kind of core strength. Yeah. I mean, it has all that and, you know, it's really, I've done all kind of training in yeah. the past, but it, it's fun to be a group doing it. It's fun to have a set time, you're all meeting up, and uh, it really challenges me. You know, it's probably the toughest program I've done, and you know, it's, it's good fun. So I just want to, you know, like you mentioned, I had a little bit of uh, back issues, uh, you know, over the last couple of years on and off. And for me, you it's can hear his physio team rolling in behind <laughs> us to take care of his back while we're sitting here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's really about just getting stronger and getting, so I have some thresh, you know, threshold so I can take a little more stress and get back practicing a little harder. That's really important for you because a lot of the, the reasons that people, you know, loved when we talked last, last time is you're not a guy that likes to get terribly technical with your golf swing and you're a guy that likes to, you, re, you can stand behind you and hit balls and you'll be the first to say, don't pay any attention to this because really you need to walk with me on the golf course because that's where it all happens. Because you're a guy that likes to play a lot of golf instead of wasting all your time on the range, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I work on it when I'm yeah. home, but when I'm at tournaments, I, I, I come to play competitions. I don't like to, to get stuck on the range, start thinking about stuff too much. I'm more worried about how to play the course and how to, how to shoot a good number, a good number and, you know how to how to save up and have the right amount of energy to to deal with each day. I want to I want to give it all on the course, not on the range or on the putting green during tournaments. I want to do that work away from the tournaments and uh, and just be ready when I come in. So how does your goals change, uh, or at least your mindset change? Because you've now been on the on the tour 10, 15 years. Family at home. We were talking a little bit about that off camera. And now as you kind of go into you know a season, how do you how do you prepare differently with all of that complexity? You have a lot of off-course yeah. stuff you're doing. How, yeah. how does that change? You know what? Yeah, this is my 20th season. 20th season. I Starting mean, there you go. Uh, last week. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, I've, what I've done, I've made quite a few changes this year, and I've tried to localize everything more. Part of that, you know, like we talked about, the, the workout routine, having it at the club right. where I'm living, at the gym. I take the court up, it's one minute ride. Instead of driving 20, 30 minutes to a trainer and then come back, you spend an hour in the car for doing a session that takes an hour. Same with golf practice. I, I, I just swap coach just to have somebody local mm -hmm. instead of driving to Orlando, I have two and a half hours in the car each way. I'm just trying to be more efficient and w with my stuff and really try to spend a lot less time in the car because there's so many things that I want to fit in. And uh, if you can have it, all around or pretty close to where you live, yeah, I think it makes life a lot easier. And you've also been a guy the last several years that has gotten off to a really good start in uh, in the season two. So is that something that you you consciously are thinking about heading into 14 or does it just kind of happen for you? Yeah, I mean, I think last year kind of happened. I, I was off for a while and mm -hmm. I didn't really have much expectations. I, I actually went on the road with the goal off starting playing and I, I worked a lot on the road because I missed out on so much training, but I didn't feel like I could wait competing any longer. And for some reason, it worked out. I mean, I put it, put a lot. The first 
started off playing six weeks in a row straight yeah. away last year. And I was really surprised myself how well I did in that <laughs> run because it was a lot of practice and competitions and normally I don't really do well doing that. But uh, for some reason it worked out and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward. Hopefully I can get all that work done now in the off season, you know, around the, my area at home and keep it simple and be ready and come out, uh, come out with a lot more uh, of the fundamentals in good place. Yeah, do you, do you put, are you a guy that likes to put a lot of concrete goals out there in front of how you want to play for 14 or do you more take it kind of one event at a time? No, I mean, I'm the kind of player I give my everything every week and yeah. I, I never stop, uh, you know, whether I'm missing a cut or whether I'm playing well, I'm always playing my hardest until I get there. So I don't, re I've never really had an issue with that, uh, that I need a reason. I always want to f feel like I do my best, but I mean, Winning tournaments is always my goal. I I have one win over here. I'd love love to get it, get some more wins. That's uh, that's mainly my goal. So one of our favorite guys, Freddie Yock. He if you ever go to tournaments, go follow this guy around because you will see all the shots, especially around the greens. Everybody knows that Swedish Sevi, which uh, that's a pretty good nickname. Um, but go follow this guy around. A lot of fun. Really have enjoyed having you here. And uh, best of luck in 2014. And we look for nothing but great for him. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you.